Hello everyone. In the previous video, we have completed the implement banner ads and interstitial ads. And in this video, we still use the previous project. If you don't know how to configuration mobile ad mob SDK, I do recommend you to watch that previous video first and the link I have placed in on the top right corner screen here. And in this video, we're going to implement native template ads. And the main reason for the placing native ads in the app because we can customize the ads that could enhance user experience and help us increase more engagement from the user, which means the UI is better than the banner ads if we compare to the banner or interstitial ads. For getting started or you want to reduce time designing and implementing, I um, recommend you to choose native template is the best option for implementing. For the first step, let's go ahead to find the Android native templates in the Git repository or you can go to this Android Google page and I will put link in the description and then just hit the download and the zip file. And I already downloaded into my local machine so just extract the file and then let's go back to your Android project, go to file and hit new and then import module and then just go and find the directory file that you have extracted and hit the ok button and then just wait a little bit for progressing the dependency after the process is finished then just go to the build gradle in the app level and then place the implement project and the name of the module And then we hit the sync link to synchronize the project dependency. And then let's go to add manager class and we're gonna create a new method for implementing native templates at request. And this method I'm going to name it as a create unify ads and without any return type. And this method we support two parameters. For the first one, I'm going to pass it as an integer. That integer is the ref reference from the resource string ID, which have the value of unit ID. The sample unit ID that we're going to pass it from the string.xml file. And the second parameter is support for the listener. And this listener, we're going to create a new abstract class that gonna inherit from the add listener class and a static interface. The reason that I want to create a new class and extend and implement it from the interface because I want to combine these two listeners into one class. And in this listener allow us to implement additional actions inside each method. And interface have a method that support when the add is load successful. And in this point, you're gonna know that add listener also contain a method on loaded. It means that when the add is loaded. But why should we still implement from the interface? And the answer is because of on add loaded method is not going to work when the native add is load successful. So just remember that the native ad has its own assets and its own format specific listeners. That's why we have to implement from the interface which contain a method support when the ad is low. And right now I'm going to create a new class and I'm going to name it as add unify listening. And the super class, I'm going to extend it from add listener, and the interface is implement it from on unify add load listener, and then hit the OK button, and then I'm going to change this class into the abstract class, and then just leave it nothing in here. Then let's go back to the add manager class and. I'm going to pass the name of the class in this parameter. 
and then I'm going to instain the builder of L loader. For the methods for unify native ads is support when the native ad is already loaded successful. So I'm going to pass the value of the listener and for the listener I'm also pass the same value and then we're going to build the ad loader. For the last statement, we're going to load the ad request. And here we have a overloading methods. For the method which support only ad request, that means we can get only one ad per request. But in difference, if we use the method load ads, which have the two parameters, the first is ad request and the second is the number of ad requests. It means that we can request batch of the ads and the maximum of ads requests we have uh, 5 for maximum so I'm going to use the first one and then I'm going to show the ads in the main activity so I'm going to open the main activity XML file And then I'm going to copy this. And paste in here to create a template view. Then let's go to the main activity class and I'm going to call the method that we have created at the moment in the ads manager object. And the first parameter we support the string, I mean the sample unit ID and I'm going to find that unit sample unit ID in this web page. So I'm going to copy that. and go to the values and open up the strings.xml file and I'm going to create a new key value pair of the string and I'm going to name it as add net to uid and the value I'm going to paste it back then let's go back to the main activity and the first parameter that I'm going to pass is the resource string And then the second parameter that I'm going to overriding the methods on unify at load. And inside there, I'm going to find the reference, the template view. In the XML file, the layout, I have put the ID as a my template. And then I'm going to set the main background color in white color. And in here to prevent the memory leaking, so we have to check the connection when the activity is destroyed and we're going to destroy the unified native at 2. And for the last one, don't forget to set the net to unify ads into the view. So let's run this application and I'm using the real device for debugging. I'm going to open the apps for the monitoring 
that it will show the screen from my phone into the, the PC or the, the screen. Okay, now it's shown as a small template and if you want to change this into the medium size, so go to layout and change the template size to the medium one. Okay, right now we finish implementing on the native add both templates with the small size and the medium size. Finally, I hope this video helped you and don't forget hit subscribe, like, and comment down below if you not clear anything in this video see you guys in the next video